There are a couple of ways to deal with a computer that's been slowing down, but if anything in my 30 years of working in IT has taught me, this method will make your computer start running like new. Today, we're going to wipe and reload your Windows 10 or 11 operating system from scratch. But first, you need to make sure you've backed up all your data on the machine because we're going to be wiping that thing as clean as glacial ice from 10,000 years ago. First, let's make sure you have what you'll need before we begin. Basically, four things. One, you'll need to have all your data that you want to keep from the machine backed up and safe on a different device. Second, you need a thumb drive that's 16 gigs or larger. We're going to be turning that into your installation media. Third, you need a machine to create the installation media on. It can be the same machine if you don't have a separate one to use. And fourth, we need to know exactly which version of Windows the machine is currently running. To find that out, on your existing machine, click on the Start menu and type System Information. You should see an icon come up for it. Click on that to run it. Once it opens, you should see OS name and a version after it. That's what you need to write down. It should be something like Windows 10 or 11, Home Professional or something else. Make sure you write this down as you'll need to select the correct version later on. Now it's time to create a bootable thumb drive with the latest Windows installation on it. We're going to be using Windows 11 for our example, but you could reinstall Windows 10 in the same way. Open a browser and do a quick search for the Windows 11 Media Creation Tool, or Windows 10 if that's what you're dealing with. Go to the site and under Create Windows 10 or 11 Installation Media, click on Download Now. This should download the Media Creation Tool for that version of Windows you chose. Once downloaded, run the tool and insert your thumb drive into your machine. If asked to allow the program to make changes to your, to your device, answer yes. Click Accept the Notices and License Terms. The tool will now get a few things ready. Verify the language and additional windows and click Next. It should be the same language of the machine you're running the tool on and the version of Windows you downloaded the installer for. Now you should be asked to choose which media to use. We're going to be selecting USB flash drive. This should be selected by default. Go ahead and click on Next. The tool will search for your thumb drive. If you don't see your thumb drive under Removable Devices, make sure it's formatted and that you can see it in the Windows Explorer. Remember, the device is going to be wiped clean, so don't leave anything on it you want to keep or you need. Once you see your device there, select it and then click Next. The tool may say Getting Things Ready Again. Then it should download the version of Windows to install and give you a progress percentage. When it's done, it should tell you your USB flash drive is ready. Go ahead and remove it from your, your machine and click on Finish. Setup may perform some final cleanup settings and then exit. Here comes the trickiest part of this whole process. We now need to boot the machine from your new thumb drive. Shut your existing machine off, power it down, turn it off, you get the idea. Next, insert your bootable drive. Turn your machine on and pay attention. Most devices boot their internal storage by default, and odds are yours is configured the same way. You may have to press a key while the device is booting to get your boot menu so that you can select a different device to start from. Usually it's something like delete, F2, F10, anything but FU, which of course we all know is Florida University, right? Make sure once you find the right key, press it before times run out and the machine starts booting the installation you're trying to get rid of. If that happens, simply turn the machine back off and on and try again. Congratulations! You're booting your installation media now. Done right, it should have started the Windows Installation Wizard. Just follow the prompts. At the Windows Setup screen, verify the language to install the and the time and currency and the keyboard or input method, and then click Next. At the next screen, it's pretty simple. Click on Install Now. Setup should now be starting. When prompted to activate Windows, since we're reinstalling an existing version, we shouldn't need to specify a product key. Simply click on I don't have a product key. If you have a product key and want to enter it, go ahead and click on Next. Remember how I had you check what version of Windows you were running? Yeah, here's where that's important. If you didn't enter a product key, Setup should prompt you to select the version of Windows you want to install. Make sure you select the exact same version you were previously running from the list of operating systems and then click Next. Check the box to accept the Microsoft license terms and then click Next. You're going to be asked if you want to upgrade, install Windows, keep files and settings and applications, or custom, install Windows only, advanced. You want to make sure you click on the custom advanced option. Remember, we want to wipe everything from the machine, and this is the only way to do that. You should see all the different drives and partitions on the machine now. 
Here's where I want to be very clear. This is truly the point of no return. Up until now, you could stop and nothing would have been changed. Once you take this next step, all data on the machine will be gone. Lost. Poof. Make sure your data is backed up before continuing. Select each drive or partition and click delete. Yes, you want to delete it. Yes, you want to delete every single one on the machine. Now you should be left with just bare storage. Select the drive zero unallocated space and click on next. Time to sit back and relax. Depending on the speed of your machine to the speed of your storage, the next part could take anywhere from a couple of minutes for up to 15 to 30 minutes on older machines of storage. Just relax while Windows completes the full install and initial configuration of the machine. When done, setup should reboot on its own with a 10 second countdown. If you're the impatient type, you can click on the restart now button. Make sure to take the bootable thumb drive out and set it aside in case you need it in the future. Once the machine reboots, it should launch what is called the OOBE or out of box experience. This is a big fancy way of saying that it's launching the first startup or new user wizard. Simply go ahead and follow the prompts to configure your freshly wiped and clean machine like it was when it came out of the box originally. Once you get to your desktop, then this entire process is complete. Well, almost. Now that you have a squeaky clean machine, you're going to want to take a look at this video about the top things you need to do to your new machine right now. Don't let all that hard work go to waste. Make sure you don't skip these important additional steps. And as always, my friends, stay grumpy.